Hi everyone, Brett here, High Altitude Scale Mining, back with another sprue review, only this time it's a resin review. Uh, a long time ago, there was a guy named Ross Gibson, who made beautiful resin engines. Let me pull one out, I have a couple left, they're getting harder and harder to find. But he was a really good guy. Made very nice resin engines, and from what I told, he passed away. Uh, well, doesn't look like I can find one right now. But take my word for it; they were amazing engines. For a long time, nobody stepped in to take his place. And then, out of the blue, the b &L resin stepped in in a big way, producing these great line, and there's more than this. This is all I have right now. But it's a lot of different variety of engines. You get your 426 Hemis, your 5 liter Fords, 302 Boss Engine, Flathead, 351 Windsor, Chevy 454 with a single car, 327 Blown, Mod Engine, Chevy 350 LT1 Engine, Chevy 409 Engine, Dual Carbs, and there's many, many more. There's many racing engines, which I didn't get. I'm not really into racing engines, but we're going to open up a couple of these and take a look and see how the resin looks. So we'll open up the Hemi. And let's open up the 302 Boss. Start with the Hemi. Hemis are really popular right now. They give you these nice Ziploc bags. Zoom in some more. Actually see some detail. And this isn't your regular gray type of resin. This is a white resin. So you got your block, your transmission halves, cylinder heads, valve covers, exhaust manifolds, starter, water pump, oil pan, dual carbs, transmission cover. So, it's got the cylinder heads bored out. There's no real flash. It doesn't look like it needs much cleanup. You can see the shiny bottom. There, you'll need to sand that down. Just a little glue and fit better because it's got to go on there. And actually, it's not a bad fit. A little bit of a gap. Just sand both of these down evenly with a fine sander and they'll fit. Cylinder heads, there is some flash in these holes right here and here. You can see this one's open. The cylinder heads have got piston openings just like the um, block. The only difference is, as you can see, these are rounded or hemispherical. It's the name of the engine. And again, you'll need to sand that down to get it flat. Transmission has See, there's a little bit of a gap. But again, they came out of the mold. They need sanded. Carburetors are joined together. Manifold, good detail. So you look at the detail, you can see. And there, if you left the manifold off, you have nice detail in there. Since it's a Hemi, it's got the spark plugs right there, and they're up, so you can attach wiring to them. Just paint these black. So very nice Hemi heads. There is no instructions. I don't think so. Nope, that's just a card showing the completed engine. Obviously, if you're a car builder, you know how to put an engine together. Water pump would go like this, because got that that goes down. 
and there's some flash around the headers in between there you have to sand that part I haven't built one yet so I don't know how it goes together I will build one though because I'm going to do an engine wiring demo for the show, the live show and I'm going to use one of these engines to do it so put all the parts together oil pan, transmission cover so we've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, about 15 parts starter got some nice detail to it so that's the 426 Hemi take this staple out here, I've been cutting myself on staples lately now Ford 302 Approach these staples a little different. Picked these up at Mega Hobby. Can't remember the price. There's the completed 302. So you know, Boss 302 was primarily used for Mustangs. Uh, block, oil pan, transmission halves. I am not a car expert, so I can't tell you what kind of transmission that is. Cylinder heads, valve covers, so it's your starter. Not sure what that part is, maybe a oil filter. And again, there's the block, a little bit of flash on there, need sand down. Oil pan, good detail. Gonna need a sand down. This is gonna go this way. Or nope, this way. Actually, it's still a pretty good fit. But you can see it's not even. It's got a little rock to it. Because they both need sanded down. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, cylinder heads with detail. They don't have the. This part's got the open piston detail. But the cylinder heads don't. Cylinder heads, valve cover. There's one side, it's got the fins on it. Right there, good detail again. This one's got the oil filler on it. And the fins, good detail. Transmission. Again, same thing like the oil pan on the block. It's going to need sanding on both sides, but that's no problem. We are modelers after all. Water pump, single barrel carburetor, air cleaner. It's got a little, again, flash on it. But it looks nice and detailed, nice and shiny resin. This is really shiny resin on some of this stuff. Should take a paint really well. So that's the 302 picture of it completed. Alright, we'll do one more. We'll do a Chevy. Let's do the 454 because I had a 454 in my truck when I was younger. Love that engine. Big, fast, gas guzzling four-barrel carburetor. So, Chevy 454 big block. Massive engine. This one comes with a fan belt, which is this part right here. Don't know how easy or hard it'll be. Okay, again, nicely detailed block. Even got his casting texture. I didn't mention on the other ones, but that you probably can't tell, but. I've all got a little casting texture. There's my four barrel carburetor. I got a Holly 750 double pumper on mine. And that could be that. That was a long time ago. Early 80s because I'm old. Now I have the Challenger so I don't have to worry about those things. Cylinder head with rocker arms. Nice touch. And lift cylinder head off and show the rocker arm detail. Basic cylinder heads. 
manifold, oil pan. Again, just to be consistent. Fits okay. You need to sand it to make sure it's level. Transmission. You need to sand it to make it level. Oh, it says the air cleaner is different from mine. It's got one of the hot rod and air cleaners. Mine had a standard air cleaner on it. Which, you know, kind of looked like the Ford one. You can make your own casting and cast your own. And it's got an oil filter. Pulleys for the fan belt. These are three pulleys. There's some detail on that. So, three pulleys, just like the regular one. There's your alternator. Nope, there's your alternator. That's your. Where was that? I'm not sure, but that's your alternator there. Water pump, oil filter, carburetor, starter. So, there's the complete. This one might take a little more thought because you got the pulleys and everything to do. It's not as cut and dry. I wish they could, you know, kept the stand with it, but you can always make your own stand. So there you go. B&L resins. So far, I've only seen American engines. And, you know, we're American muscle car builders, so we need these kind of engines. They make them out with import engines. I don't know. I should contact them and find out. Like I said, pick them up at Mega Hobby. Or check with your local fine hobby retailer, online retailer. They may have some. But online, either eBay or Mega Hobby, and I suggest Mega Hobby because you know you're going to get them. If you want to see a written review, go to Model Car Magazine. Dot com. They've got a good written review of them. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be building up one of these soon, probably the Hemi. Well, no, I can't do the Hemi because it's got the plugs already built into it. Well, since it's open, we'll do the 302 Boss for the wiring demonstration. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I hope this was informative. Remember, go out there and build a model. Don't collect it. You've got lots of stuff you can use for aftermarket for cars, air armor, aircraft, ships, sci-fi. You can make them so detailed now. Thanks for watching.